happy Monday. We are here, we are here, we are here. We are ready to prosper another week. We're doing this one week at a time, y'all. One week at a time. So whatever you did last week, take your notes, make your adjustments, and change your battery. Um. Okay, guys. This week, today, today is my son's birthday. I have a whole 30-year-old. Happy 30th birthday, my son. I know you don't watch these videos, but happy birthday. Thank y'all. Y'all remember that one video I dropped about being traumatized through having a child or something to that effect. I don't remember. But yeah, check out that video. But today, my human, that human being is 30 years old. Wow. I want to be like, nigga, we made it. We made it. No. <laughs> All right. So for his birthday, y'all know we already did a celebration. We did um, snowboarding in Seven Springs, Pennsylvania. So that was pretty dope. Okay. Good morning, y'all. It is 8 a.m. on a Tuesday. We still up in this good house. Mm. This um, time change has got me all messed up. It's like I'd be waking up later because I'd be feeling later. Like it gets lighter later. But remember um, about the whole make your own coffee at home? Ooh. Baby, did you make my coffee at home? No. This is my budget video. <laughs> oh, but we got breakfast at home. Oh, we got breakfast. Look. You see, I looked around like, wait a minute. Yes, see y'all? This is my breakfast at home. Let me turn this off so y'all can hear me properly. Yeah, we got, he did that guac, I mean the avocado. No, uh, authentic. Authentic. You know, my baby. He from, he from, he from New York. He from Brooklyn, but you wouldn't know it. You would think he was from... <laughs> So this is going to be another day where I shouldn't have to spend any money. Oh, I see you found your hat. And we got lunch, too. We got chicken wings, rice. There's salad in this bowl. Yay! Oh, T don't forget T-Mobile Tuesdays. Even though this ain't going to come out on a Tuesday. I was talking to y'all in the car yesterday and I realized I never finished talking to y'all. Well, actually I did, but I ended up making it another video because I was going off. I was rambling. But what's new? But I was saying um, for this week, I really don't have any plans of ma any major purchases this week. Um, babe, your birthday's not this week, right? Your birthday's next it's week. Saturday. It's Saturday? Babe's birthday is Saturday. He know. You know how he know? I'm going to show y'all why he know. I'm going to show y'all because this guy, this guy, y'all see we still got a Christmas tree up and he got presents. He's been putting presents under his Christmas tree for his birthday. But y'all know we're going to Costa Rica for his birthday. So, baby, I'm not buying you anything. Baby, tell them what you wanted to do for me for my birthday. I wanted to take you to Peru. Look at them. I wanted to take her to Peru. But why aren't we going to go? We're going to Kenya, Africa. Yeah. <laughs> so he wants to take me to Peru for my birthday, which I would love to do. But what we realize is... Macho Picchu or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what I realize is we just don't really... We don't have the time. It's not even the money, babe, right? Yeah. It's the time. We was looking at it yesterday. And we was like, but we go to Kenya around the end of June. And I told him that could be my birthday gift. But he wants to take me to Peru for my birthday. But we don't know if we can squeeze Peru in. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad, baby. I wanted to go to Peru with you. So, yeah, but we're going to Costa Rica for his birthday. That's going to be so fun. I'm so excited. Everybody I talked to you about, they said it's beautiful. But, yeah, y'all, this is what it is. This is our life. Yeah, I was going to take it with me, but I'm just like, it's late. My baby got my reinvent sweatshirt on. 
this is from um, Vegas when we go to the reInvent conference, the Amazon Warehouse Services AWS conference, conference in ba Vegas. They give us swag. That's one of the swags. And maybe be wearing it because sometimes I be throwing that swag away. I'm going to get you another one this year, babe. <laughs> Well, don't, don't, don't book in the last name. No. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm I want to stay in the Venetian. You want to stay at the Venetian? Okay. Yeah, because it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. I know. All of that walking, right? Yeah. But the thing is, I want to stay at an MGM property. Oh. Uh, where what MGM we going to stay? I don't Never know. I got to see which ones are MGM property. Because, remember, I got my status. They probably got, uh, they probably got something closer. I yeah, mean, yeah, most definitely, better. most definitely. So I'll definitely look into that. Mm. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all see the way this is how things start happening. You heard him mention Peru, and you you hear us talking about our our ideas, our feelings, our desires for Vegas. This is how the vacations get started. Just it all starts with an idea. It all starts with the desire. It all starts to, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to stay at an MGM property that's close to the activity, that's still nice and bomb, that we get to use our points and get our great discounts for? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I still didn't see that pad. It's just like the same Look at him. He's so bougie. <laughs> I stayed at I stayed at Caesars. I'm ready well, for something I new. Think Caesar, they had like seven pools. I don't think had But you know what else was kind of fun that I don't know if you might want to consider again? I know it felt like a lot. We moved three hotels last time, mm -hmm. but that was three places we got to review. So what if we did like maybe two different places this time? It was fun. And I felt like, you know, you woke up early, I took you to school. <laughs> I was missing out on all the food. Dude. <laughs> I know, I know. You're right, you're right, you're right. But maybe even we can, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure out. You're right. Venetian was right there, and that food is right there. That breakfast would be right there, the way I was smuggling Every food. Every morning. We ain't going to spend no money. You are absolutely right. Yeah, but thank you. Good. The walks was good. Yeah, yeah. The walks was good. The adventure, taking public transportation. Don't need to jump on a cab or jump on your personal car. It was just like a living the city life, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me go get the rest. Hey guys, okay, we are going home from work now and we are assessing our financial position, okay? So today is March 14th and as of today, to include today, we have 17 more days left in the month. In my budget, I was looking at my Every Dollar app where I track all of my spending and I know exactly where I stand at any given point in time. So as of today, I have $438 left in my budget to spend. Okay, $438. Now, that's not counting the things that we've already budgeted for. We already budgeted for our utility bills. We've already budgeted like $800 for vacation. We've already budgeted um, the money I want to set aside for savings and so on and so forth. This is of my extra money, my unbudgeted money that goes towards food, entertainment, eating out, um, and whatever else pops up, buying sheets, whatever else pops up during the month, okay? Now that I see what I'm working with, the 438. I am feeling like I have to tighten my purse strings because with the 438, that gives me about an average of $25 a day. Sorry about the light. So this means I'm going to try to have some non-spend days, no spend days, because for every day that I don't spend, it moves up my purse spend amount for the other days, you know, for the other days that I do spend. Now, the thing about it is I also have a stretch goal. In that $438, I also want to not spend an extra $150 that I would like to add back to my um, the money that I send extra to my mortgage. I put in my budget that I was spending, sending $8,000 this month to extra to my mortgage. And I actually dipped into that fund by $150. So, whatever I don't spend... I get to put that money back in there and make it $108,000 again. So there's only two ways that we can do that. Gosh, this guy's going right through a red light. Okay. 
So <laughs> there's only two ways that we can do that. We can either do that by, again, not spending money, spending less money this month, or we can bring in more money this month. But y'all know how it goes. I don't have any ideas of how I can bring in more money this month. I'm not willing to do. I'm not going. We're not willing to do nothing extra. We're not going to sell anything. Um, YouTube income is already accounted for because we get paid for the previous month. So nothing I do this month can bring in more YouTube income. Um, miraculously, books could sell. Miraculously. Y'all want to buy a book? Comment below. I mean, see the description below. That's how you buy a book. But we're not relying on that. Um, yes, I don't have any other ways of bringing in more money. So the only thing I can think of is just to try to be conscious of our spending and spend less. <sighs> Y'all, I came up with three things that I wanted to spend money on just walking to the car. But we're not going to do it. We are not going to do it. Um... Again, we want to try to reach that stretch goal and we just want to really live within what we have, the 438. So hopefully nothing pops up that requires me to spend money. The only, the thing that I want to do today, tonight, when I get home outside of editing videos is I want to go ahead and pay for my car registration. Let's do that on time so that we don't have to pay like an extra $10 for being late. So that's my only goal for today. That's it, y'all lunches and breakfast at home it is because we trying to save these coins i forgot i was supposed to be talking to y'all today because it is what's today wednesday tomorrow's payday Woo! it's wednesday so i already know what my paycheck for tomorrow is going to look like and so remember yesterday i talked to y'all about how much money i had left in my budget well because I know what tomorrow's paycheck is going to be and it's a little higher than I expected and then also I paid my car registration yesterday and it was a little lower than I expected I budgeted $200 for it it came to like around 171 so what this means instead of 438 that I said yesterday that I have for the remainder of the month I now have 527 for the remainder of the month yay yay so I have a plan so today's a no spend day going home right now and so my plan is tomorrow my company is feeding us lunch so that's going to be taken care of I also have some fish in the freezer at home so I plan on throwing that and making that for this weekend so we can have like tacos because we still have um, things that we can make tacos with so that's my plan for not spending money T-Mobile Tuesday also had I think Little Caesars Pizza for three dollars um, so we may pick up a pizza so that should get me through the rest of this week without spending money. Next week, I do plan on spending money, but this ain't next week. So, I mean, as far as food goes, I have a plan for that. So right now, I think we're up to, I think I've, on average, I can spend like $29 a day. Like if I spent $29 a day, that's how much the $5.27 um, amounts to. So again, every day that I don't spend money, that per day threshold moves up. That's where we at with that. But I do need to buy some sheet suspenders. And I do need to buy, like I said, I'm going to buy some food to get us through next week. Y'all, Jay's, y'all know Jay's birthday's coming. Y'all know. Look, look at the tree. Now. Look at his gifts. <laughs> what is wrong with him? I have no idea. It's going to be so wonderful waking up and opening his gifts. Because I have no idea what he bought himself. Baby, I want a gift. <laughs> you do got one. Who's this? One? No, that's for us. That's for the, sh the that's for the bed. Don't play. All right, yeah, we are off from work. The day is still day. We are not used to that. Me, y'all. Um, so we're gonna go home, and what we're gonna do is gonna edit. That's what we're doing. Um, but in the meantime, let's talk about this budget, y'all. So yesterday. I told you guys about, I had, I believe it was $547 and I was like, okay, don't spend any money, blah, blah, blah. Try to reach a stretch goal of having an extra $150 left over to put toward my house. Y'all, why me was all up on the internet with y'all talking about some who want a blanket? Who want a blanket? And then I knew in my head the first person to 
drop down in the comments and say I want a blanket they were gonna get the money right but then I began all extra generous in my spirit and I was like we're gonna let two people do it now there are two winners for the blanket claim and I looked at my receipt and I actually have my receipt right here for Target and the blanket that I bought the king size blanket because I was like I don't know if it was 150 200 it was 150 it was like 149 so at first when it was going to be one winner one winner was going to win 150 dollars because that's the cost of my king size um comforter but then i decided to do two people i wasn't going to do 300 so i'm doing a hundred dollars per person so so far one person gave me their cash app um free What's your name? It's because your name, your cash app name is different from your YouTube name. I think it's free. It's free somebody. <laughs> so I sent you the money because you gave me your cash app. And um, the other other winner, my mind is going blank. You ain't sent me your cash app yet. So as we stand, I've spent $100 in the giveaway. That $100 can turn to $200 but if it don't turn to $200 we're gonna just leave it at the $100 because y'all remember I have this budget thing I'm trying to do because that money is coming directly out of my budget but you know what y'all I could I could get some more money the month ain't over what if more money comes in that would be nice I had a dream last night I had a dream that I got $12,000 in the mail and the thing about it was the the check, it was in the form of a check. It went to a neighbor's house and then the neighbor got it back to me. And um, it, they said the $12,000 was from when I sold the house. It was like, oh, here goes some more money that we held in some sort of secret escrow. I don't know. But that's where the money came from. So what if that happened? What if I got $12,000 randomly in the mail? Right? So yeah, so that's what it is right now. I was talking to Corinne this morning and we were talking about gift cards and how do you handle gift cards, right? A lot of you know, and maybe you don't know because some of you are new here or maybe you just didn't see that one video that I mentioned it in, that one video. I think it was one video. But normally when I get a gift card, especially if it's for like a money, for money, like let's say like a Visa gift card or whatever, I add it to my budget. I put it in a line item on my budget. Y'all going to see my budget as far as my income. It'll say the total, but my income thing is broken down. So I'll actually have a line item for that gift card and I'll put the amount of that gift card. And I was telling Corinne, I know like some people say they don't do that because for them, they feel like, well, it's a gift. I don't want to add it to my budget because I don't know. I think some people just think the word budget means like responsibility, it means you're responsible or something like you have to do something responsible with the money, but it doesn't. For me, it just means we're going to keep track of the money. We're going to keep tabs of the, on the money. We're going to be mindful of the money. When I don't necessarily put it as a line item, sometimes I forget about the gift card. And that was Corinne's story this morning. She realized, she found like uh, well, all these gift cards that she had and she realized she forgot about them. And then when she went in to try to redeem them, and I believe that a lot of them were, she said the vanilla, the vanilla prepaid gift cards the value was actually gone because some gift cards have it that if you don't use it in a certain amount of time they start taking away money every single month that you don't use it and then the value is gone and so for me once again for that not to happen or b for me to just be super strategic about my gift cards i add it to that line item and then that way even if i don't use the gift card i know that that money is there and that I have that because let's say like for instance the Wegmans gift card my company gave me if Wegmans isn't a store that I normally shop at it'll be easy to forget about that gift card right and I'm gonna go buy groceries but I may go to you know Giant or Harris Teeter or whatever and buy groceries not remembering that hey I have a grocery gift card but as soon as I put that thing in my budget it's like oh I have a Wegmans gift card got to make groceries let's go to the store so I can actually use this card so that's just one of the tricks that I do to stay mindful of my gift cards tell me in the comments do y'all run into that um do y'all run into that where you get gift cards and they either lost value or the store went out of business before you had a chance to use it um or you just freaking lost the gift card 
And sometimes if you lose a gift card, you don't even know you lost it because you don't even remember you had it. So, yeah. So, I'm just saying, y'all. Add a gift card to y'all budget so y'all can keep track of them. If I don't use the gift card in that month, I will carry it over to the next budget and subtract it from the current budget. I'll do that. That way I remember. I will keep remembering that I have a gift card. I do the same thing with my vacation time at work. My company gives me 40 hours to use towards training. Yeah, do you realize how fast the year can end when you realize that, oh my goodness, I didn't even tap into that 40 hours. So I do the same thing. I'll write that down. I'll be like, here's, here's what I have in vacation time. And I have an extra 40 for training. And I will remember to strategically use that time. Don't play with me about my coins. Don't play with me about my, my time. So yeah, so just wanted to share that with y'all today on this good day. Um, so bye y'all. This is how we wake up. This is the mattress pad. These are the sheets. You can see the deep pocket sheets. These sheets have been so perfect for all my other beds. They're deep pocket. They don't pop up. They wrap around. But on this bed, good luck. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. It is already 8 a.m. 8 a.m. I need to go to work. Yes, I do. But let me show y'all. This is what I do when I first wake up. I come up in this good place. I work on YouTube videos. And I got two videos ready to come out for today. But I put in these files to start working on the week videos, what I spend in a week. Y'all look. Two hours and 48 minutes of clips. Two hours and 48 minutes and I got to get that down to like between about 30 minutes, an hour, something to that effect. So this video should come out on Sunday. Um, today is Friday. So I have today and tomorrow and possibly Sunday to work on it for it to come out on Sunday. Because I'm trying to be consistent. I want the weekly videos to come out every Sunday. Y'all, I got a problem. All right. So I gave away the $200. So this leaves me with $327. Let me check my every dollar. $327. $327 is what I have, y'all. Remember, so I haven't necessarily been spending money. I've been giving money. And why I was like so tempted this morning to give some more because um, one of the winners, City Girl, She's having a baby. I didn't even know. So she, cause she wrote in her comment that she's going to use the money to buy her baby a blanket and then put the rest in savings, y'all. Why was I tempted to send her $50 more? dollars? And I might do it. I might do it. I'm just not going to do it now. Because um, remember, we do have goals. So what I'm going to do is at the end of this month, if I have more money, and my budget, and I make that 150 and I have more money in my budget, then I'm going to send her, I'm going to bless her with another extra 50 for a baby shower gift. <sighs> so now we're in this good kitchen because we got to find food to eat. We can't spend. I do have a $20 bill in my purse that I can use. And if I do, I'll show y'all that. But remember, it's not going to be in the budget of what I spent because technically it was already in my budget for what I spent last week. Y'all have already seen that. I took the $60 out of the ATM. So I still have that. Look, baby made me coffee. Come down here. He's long gone. What he write? Me and you. Ah! Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Y'all, happy St. Patrick's Day. I guess these are these shamrocks. Me and you, pick me up. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Y'all, y'all got y'all green on. Oh, I should try to find something with green. But y'all, we need something to eat. Okay. Here's a piece of pizza. So y'all, in my effort to consciously not spend money and wear green, I pulled it together, guys. So this is what we did. For breakfast, we made us some scrambled eggs and a piece of toast for lunch we got this one lone pizza this 
salad. And then I'm going to get some chips from work because I do have some money on my work spending account. So I'll get some chips to go for my breakfast. And then we have some olives for little snacks. And of course, we have our coffee. This is the effort to not spend money just so that I can gift it away in giveaways. <laughs> All right, y'all. Hey, y'all, we off from work now. We are going to go into um, the grocery store and get a cake and a card and some candles for Jay. Um, y'all know we are going to Costa Rica for his birthday. That's where we're celebrating his birthday. So this is just a little something, something. So I don't want y'all judging me like that's all you did for your man. Yes, it is. It is. But the thing is, I need to hide the cake. And it's pretty cool outside, so I think I'm going to keep the cake in the car. We're going to try that. If if tomorrow this cake is covered in ants, y'all know what happened. But ain't no ants out. It's winter. It's winter. So I'm going to keep the cake in the car. Because it need to be hidden. Because I don't want him to know that he getting a cake. He's going to be so happy. And I'm going to make him breakfast in the morning. He's going to be so happy. I'm going to make some um, tacos. He's going to be so happy. We're going to go try out purple mattresses tomorrow. He's going to be so happy. Now the thing about it is I really don't want a cake that is too big. Because it's just me and him. And like I said, we're going to be leaving. These are so cute. Look at this. That is cute. Kind of girly, right? Okay, how about this one? That is so cute. It's marble. I don't want a marble cake. I love lemon cake. Look at that. A half a cake. That's cute. I think that's like perfect. I think that's perfect. A half a cake. Because this is just too big. Let me show y'all what's really cute. Oh my god. This is so freaking cute. I left my whole carriage over there. That is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. That is a white chocolate strawberry cake. But that's too big. That's too big. So I think we're just going to go with like the... And look at these little marbles. Look at how beautiful that is on the inside. That is so cute. Jay might like chocolate. What y'all think? <laughs> but this strawberry is calling me. Look, I want to get what I want. It's my birthday. My birthday. We're going to get some candles. These. Ah! Drop my four. Drop my four. Um, get us some a two. This matches the cake. We're going with this cake because it's cute. So that. And we got these candles. I was looking at getting these two, but y'all, they $6.95. Let's not overdo it. Let's not overdo it. Good morning, y'all. Today's Jay's birthday. I got on a onesie. <laughs> Let's go see him. Let's go visit him and tell him happy birthday. You it's plans. your birthday, baby. I don't know if you had any plans. Though. Oh, for you? Yeah. I ain't got no plans for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> don't play with me. Your plans for you is Costa Rica, okay? Don't play. <laughs> I don't know what he think this is. You are going to Costa Rica for your birthday. That's what's so, up. To be able to stay there for seven days. Seven days. And guys, I did not want to go to Costa Rica for seven days. I wanted to go for a shorter amount of days. The reason why it's seven days is because that was the cheapest plane ticket. It was like every time I wanted to come back earlier, it was like the plane she ticket. She told me she spent like, what, $500 each? But if I wanted to come back earlier, um, it was like $200 more just to come back. Like I checked all the days. Like you have to marinate. Yeah, and then even coming back a day later was even more money. So that was like the perfect sweet spot. All right, guys. So I thought I was going to be able to um, spend less money. Being that I was telling y'all for Jay's birthday, we're going to Costa Rica. So therefore, I'm not buying him nothing. But we're going out today. I can't let him buy his, his own things on his own birthday. So the little goal that I have might not happen. Might not happen, y'all. Because I do want to go to the movies too. So I'm going to have to treat for that too. It's his birthday so it's okay. 
We made it to Jay's favorite breakfast spot. First watch. Yay. It takes two. <laughs> there. <laughs> so that's his mimosa. So this is what we're gonna get. We're gonna get the elevated egg sandwich. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting Jay's chicken. getting the chiki changa. And then he also wants the lemon ricotta pancakes. It's his birthday. And, the and then we're getting million dollar bacon. It's his birthday, y'all, because y'all know I try to veto it. Like you are not getting two entrees. And he said, Yes, I am. So yes, he is. We have our million dollar bacon. Yay. I said chicken changa. All right, guys. So now we are on our way to go pick up pizza. We use T Mobile Tuesdays deal. We have a pizza party for Little Caesars Pizza for three thirty-three. Little Jeremiah for what was that? A large pepperoni pizza yeah. for a large pepperoni pizza. 